Right off the top, we're following breaking news in Northern Virginia. FBI and police on an undercover operation when gunfire erupts. And tonight, two people are hurt. Good evening, I'm Adam Longo. This investigation is unfolding in Woodbridge on Fox Glove Court near Dale Boulevard. John Henry arrived on the scene just a short time ago. John, you just got an update from police. What are they telling you? Yeah, we're learning that this happened shortly before 7 o'clock, according to police. Right now, you can see they're still on scene, too, trying to learn what led up to this incident. William police say this operation involved their department, Manassas City, Manassas Park, the ATF, and the FBI. It happened on Fox Glove Court. However, they say it is unclear if their bullets injured the two people ultimately taken to hospitals here from the scene. We have confirmed that uh, at least uh, two Prince William County officers and two Manassas City officers uh, discharged their weapons. At this point, we don't know who fired first or even the current medical conditions of the injured. Police do say they are talking to locals in the area to get their accounts of what happened. There's video, we believe. Uh, again, that's why we're calling out for the public as well. But the police department adds 13 agencies led by Arlington County here in Northern Virginia will also review this case. That investigation, the criminal investigation of this incident has been turned over to the critical incident response team uh, that we are a signatory to. So it's an independent uh, group of investigators who will be conducting the criminal investigation uh, and to present to uh to present to the Commonwealth's attorney there, according to the deputy chief. Right now, at this point, we do not know the nature of the undercover investigation here. Police said it was too early to give that information out. With the very latest from Woodbridge, John Henry, W, USA 9. Let's hope we can get some answers to the folks in that community and soon. John Henry, thank you.